everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies i am angel and today is thankful thursday and joining me is my beautiful sebastian this will be the last time you'll see him unpainted i'm getting the rest of my babies painted up so by the time it comes around for this little guy again he'll be all done and i would have shared videos of what he looked like before and after we're going to get him in a cute summer outfit we're trying to get the babies in one last summer look and then um, we'll go on to the fall looks. And we're going to do him for a spotlight baby. But first, we're going to go ahead and put God first, as always. Billy Graham, wisdom for each day. And today, being Thankful Thursday, I want to just say a few things I'm thankful for. I am thankful for my health. I am thankful that I'm still here. I am thankful that uh, my hysterectomy, um, the cancer, was caught early. So I didn't have to face any um, chemo or anything like that, that the cancer was all taken. I am thankful that my husband is still here. My child is still here. I'm thankful I got to spend the day with him yesterday. We had a mom and Sunday, so that was fun. I'm glad I got to go out with him. I'm thankful for a roof, food, clothes, and a bed. I'm thankful for all the subscribers I have. I'm thankful uh, for my business that it's growing. I'm thankful that God gifted my hands to be able to be artistic and paint babies and sell them to people at a budget. I'm thankful that I would, you know, have enough money to be able to do a giveaway that I did on um, uh, what it went up on Tuesday. I hope you guys got a chance to check that out. Check it out. It's running just until next Tuesday. So check that out. I'm thankful that I can uh, do a nice giveaway for that. I'm thankful for all my beautiful babies that I have and all the wonderful baby, um, you know, Dolly friends out there that I have gotten to know and all the new ones that I've gotten to know. I'm thankful for that. I'm uh, thankful for Minnie, my beautiful little fur baby. Thankful for her. And uh, thankful my mom is still here and, and my stepdad, my dad. He's my dad. Uh, thankful for that. Um, you know, that we got to spend my mom's 70th birthday with her. We had a great time. I just have so much to be thankful for. I'm just thankful that I believe in God and that Jesus died on the cross so that I have eternal life. I am thankful for that the most. I am thankful for God. That's what I'm thankful for the most is God. And um, yeah, a lot to be thankful for. So let's go ahead and read our Billy Graham wisdom for each day. Today we're on September 14th. And it's uh, when hope seems impossible. Why are you downcast? Oh, my soul. Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God. Psalms 42, 5. And I've been reading Psalms. I'm almost done with Psalms. And I'm really loving the book of Psalms. And I've read the Bible through a few times. And I don't know, Psalms is really hitting me this time. And I really enjoy it. And that's a great verse. It goes on to say, how can we have hope when there isn't any reason to have hope? Some people I've found are just naturally optimistic. No matter what happens to them, they always, um, they almost always react with a brave smile and a positive outlook. We must keep up our hope, they say, even when they have no reason to hope. Unfortunately, their hope is little more than wishful thinking. But this isn't the kind of hope the Bible urges us to have. It tells us to find your hope in God, not in our circumstances or natural optimism or pet. Um, optimism or pessimism, or our family or friends, but from God. How is this possible? It happens only when we realize how much God loves us, a love so deep that his son was willing to give his life for us. It happens too when we realize that this life is not all there is, but ahead of us is heaven if we know Christ. Is your hope in him, both for this life and the life to come? Wow, you guys, I was just saying all the things I was thankful for. And the most important thing I was thankful for is heaven, that Jesus died on the cross for us so that we could have eternal life. And this verse comes up. And I promise you guys, from the bottom of my heart, God knows the truth. That's all that matters. I did not read this before I said that. And I did not know this for Thankful Thursday. So see how God works in just mysterious ways and how he's saying we need to be thankful. You know, there's people out there that are optimistic and pessimistic. I'm an optimistic. I definitely am. I see the glass. Uh, half full where people see it half empty. I definitely have so much that I, you know, think about and think, well, you know, this may have happened, but I'm so happy about this. And, you know, yeah, it may have happened like this, but, you know, it, it doesn't matter because look at how great this is. I'm that type of person I am. I'm going through a lot with this hysterectomy and the emotional roller coaster I'm going through, but I'm grateful that I didn't have to face what other people have to. There's always somebody out there that has things worse than I do, you know, worse than you do. Remember that. 
and let's try to be as positive as we can, have a positive outlook and know that God loves us. Nobody could love us more than him. And his love was so deep that he was, you know, that he sent his son and that Jesus was willing to give his life for us, which is God. God came here in human form. So he was 100% God, 100% man, became God's son. And uh, he came here to earth to die for us so that we could have eternal life, you know, taking on the sins for us, our sins. I mean, we're not worthy of such an act. But because he did that, if we believe, we get that free gift to heaven. Wow. Amazing. But there's a little bit more to it. You can't just say, well, I believe and that's it. And you're going to heaven. Got to repent, ask for forgiveness, try to live the life that you best, you know, the best you can. Are we going to make mistakes? Absolutely. We all live in glass houses. Every one of us, you know, either swear or we, you know, get angry or, you know, we've done bad things in our life. We willingly sin. We sin by accident, but we sin. We sin every day. And when you can admit that, that's one thing that, you know, God appreciates that we can admit that, that we are sinners, but thank God we're sinners saved by grace and uh, through that cross, what Jesus took on. So let's pick up our cross every day, bear it every day, and realize this is not our permanent home. We will be in heaven one day, if you believe. We'll be in heaven, and we'll get to have, you know, the best life we could ever have then. Nothing will ever harm us, hurt us, uh, cause any pain, anguish, you know, any uh, sorrow. We won't have sicknesses, nothing. It'll just be pure joy and happiness spending it with God. And Jesus, I mean, Jesus, the man who died for us. Can you imagine that day when you get through those pearly gates and Jesus is standing with his arms wide open for a hug and he's got those holes in his hand and in his feet and you can see that he took on that cross for us. One day we will see that and get to be with him for eternity. What a gift, what a gift to look forward to. So, and he says that this is not supposed to be great here on earth. We're gonna have trials and tribulation. Remember that we're gonna go through tough times. We're gonna have sicknesses. We're gonna, you know, have surgeries. We're gonna have to lose people, um, you know, uh, have hard days, you know, find trying to find where our last penny is gonna come, you know, from, uh, how we're gonna eat. You know, just all those things, you know, and yet God fulfills and comes through. If you believe, he's going to fulfill and come through for you. Just believe. Pray for everybody, too. Be praying for people out there. People need prayer. Definitely pray for people. I am asking for prayer, and I thank you guys that are praying for me. I'm asking for prayer, and anybody out there that needs any prayer, please let me know. You can even just say, unspoken, I'd love to pray for you, but I do pray for each and every one of you. Um, just even if you don't say anything individually, um, or just if I don't know you, I will say, you know, the people that I watch that watch me, just all the people that are out there, you know, God, I just pray so much for them. And I pray so much for people to find their uh, way to God. You know, that's an important one to me that people get their salvation so that they have eternal life. Wisdom for today. We need more than wishful thinking, Lord, to make it through this life. Our faith is firmly placed in your word and your work on the cross. Because of you, we hope or we have hope in this life and the next. Wow, great wisdom, great wisdom to that. I want to say amen to that. And, you know, we definitely have the hope knowing that if we're living right and living for God, that we have eternal life when we leave this world that has been so tough and so hard. Start our day, go through our day, end our, life, our day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible, not only reading it and studying it, but getting a great personal relationship with Jesus, the man who died for us, and honor the, thy word. You know, honor and obey it and live by it. That's what we need to do. So come on, you guys, pick up your Bible and read it. You're going to feel so good and you're going to start living so much better. Will it be perfect? No. Will it be harder because you're a Christian? Absolutely, because the devil's going to come to still kill and destroy. He's so mad he no longer has you coming to hell with him. So we need to just know that it's going to be hard. We're going to go through storms, but the rainbow always comes. It always does. So let's read, you guys. And I hope you enjoyed those verses today on... Uh, when hope seems impossible, nothing is impossible with God. Absolutely nothing. All right, let's get on to Sebastian. This is my full body silicone baby I got off of Ibita. He's, uh, I believe, 19 inches and weighs a um, little over six pounds. He's a beautiful sleeping baby. And in fact, he's the baby that I recreated in the girl version that I have up for sale, Onyx. I'm going to throw it up on the screen there quick for you guys. I have her for sale. And uh, right now I'm running uh, for another full week for appreciation for hitting the 500 subscribers. Also, I'm running free shipping on her in the United States. Um, she's got combo hair. Um, so it's both drawn and rooted hair. It's black. Uh, black rooted eyebrows and black lashes, and she's gorgeous. She's got a 
more of a tan color skin. So she's kind of like Hispanic almost or a biracial. Uh, beautiful little girl. She comes with a great box opening and she's $349. I take PayPal or Cash App. If you're interested in her, please let me know here or in my email. I'll stick my email up there. But yeah, it's the same baby, but the girl version. And I can't wait to paint him to see how he's going to turn out. He's going to be completely different. Hair color and everything I'm doing different with him. All right, so my little prep boy, we're going to do a um, spotlight on him. He's my prep boy. We're going to put this up on, on him because I believe that, you know, this would be something a little preppy baby would wear, um, you know, or, or somebody that's more preppy. It's a Carter's. I got it from Target. It's got the little, it would have been in one of the other babies box opening, but all my babies share. This is a teal color with white stripes. It's got a sailboat on it, perfect for the summer, and a uh, palm tree with some birds, or is that the dirt? I don't know, birds with the dirt. Oh, it's the water, I think, with the boat. Very cute. It's a one-piece um, onesie-like and snaps in the crotch. And the uh, full buttons or whatever you call it, like uh, they look like um, uh, cat-eye buttons done in the plastic. And the back is just white and the teal, but the double white stripes, just super cute. So he's going to wear that. We're going to do a white hat because he's bald right now. A white hat, little white socks, and the little gray shoes. We didn't, haven't put shoes on him for a while, so we're going to do the little gray shoes. These are also by Carter. So, yeah, let's get this beautiful boy changed and do a spotlight on him. I hope you guys got a chance to see my video yesterday. As you see, Minnie's right there. She's always here with the babies. Uh, she loves to be here with the babies. Hope you got a chance to um, uh, watch my video uh, yesterday um, for, um, I'm going to make sure he's in frame, um, for uh, We Wear Pink. Uh, Wednesdays, We Wear Pink, and I was doing my beautiful Constance, my um, Eversculpt. And um, hope you got to see that and do that tag. I hope you got to do that tag. I, I came up with that tag and I hope you guys will do it. It's called I Wish. And uh, it's I Wish. And then if I could only have one of the three wishes, if I had a genie out of those three, or I'm sorry, it's I Wish. And it's if I had a genie out of the 10 wishes, what are the three biggest ones that you would want out of the 10 that you answered? So there's a bonus question for that, number 11. All right, so let's get on to Sebastian and talk about him. One, he's going to be painted very soon, and I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to do with him. Um, he is a very sweet boy. He is, um, you can just tell by looking at him, he's a very passive. My last baby was passive too. He's a my passive boy. I've got a few really passive boys. I did open up his mouth, and I opened up the mouth on the one I'm selling as well. But anyways, he's just, he's my preppy boy. He's... Just, you know, uh, such a, um, I don't know, just very smart baby for a baby. He's very, very smart. Um, you know, just almost is, uh, you know, helps himself a lot of the time. He really does. He's really, really a good, good little boy. And I just enjoy him in our nursery here. And he looks so passive too he's got that passive look to him that just he's just you know in another world he's very floppy too look at this you guys so is the other one i'm selling the version of it very passive and you can see the mouth open i opened it and i did it on hers too but very floppy and very squishy this is a very squishy good baby this is a ecoflex 20 and i believe he's got some kind of a slacker in him a beautiful like marshmallow blend he's just i don't know but that look on his face is just like that of I don't do anything wrong. I am perfect, and that's why I dress preppy, and that's why I am one of the most perfect in the nursery. <laughs> but he is. He's got that look, and so he's just got a sweet, sweet look, and that's why I wanted to do a version of this one in a girl version, a sleeping baby, and so, you know, sell that one, buy it, and sell it, because that's what I do. Not only do I share my babies, but I buy and sell, um, buy, paint, and sell these babies at a budget, and um, that one I was showing you, uh, you know, free shipping this week for appreciation. But yeah, he's just so sweet. And the way his arms just lay and stuff, he's fisted, open hand here. Uh, both feet are all, all the toes are all together on it. Um, it's so floppy, just a really, really floppy, good baby. He'd be great with armatures and legatures. I would love armatures in him. I would. And I, I am going to put some armatures in some of my babies. I'm going to learn how to do it. And I'm going to put that on them. But yeah, he's a very passive baby and... Just you could just tell when he gets older, he's gonna be like one of those, um, one of the smarty pants in school, and he's gonna know everything, and he's gonna, you know, graduate with honors, and he's gonna be, you know, have an IQ of a billion. 
yeah, he's just, that's what it just seems like with him. He's just a very smart little boy, and we love him so much. I do, I love his look. I was so excited when I got him. I love those big, full lips he has, and, he, you know, just a gorgeous, gorgeous baby. Very gorgeous, and I can't wait for you guys to see what I choose for him for hair color and, um, you know, his painting and all of that. I love adding my special effects to it. Some babies get little milk spots or a little... A little scratch on the face or, you know, just something when I'm doing it. I grow such a bond even more with them when I'm when I'm painting them. Even my babies that I sell, I grow bonds. That's why I name each one um, that I sell, too. But, yeah, just he is just the best. He is definitely all prep, and that's what I feel in this baby from day one. And that's why when I dress him, you always see I'm putting something on him that's got a collar or whatever because he's just, a, you know, that type of baby, it just seems like, yeah, he's going to be like, you know, at black tie events. That's what I feel like. Like, he's going to be like a president or something one day. He's just going to be one of the smartest ones. So he's going to go to Ivy Lee. <laughs> um, yeah, he's just a, or uh, one of those colleges that are really, really good. So, yes, he's a sweetheart. Now, this is a newborn size, and it fits him pretty good. A little bit big on him. Some of the stuff is a little bit bigger. Is this a Carter's? Yeah, this is a Carter's, and it is a newborn. Yeah, it is newborn size. So it fits him good. I like the way it fits him, and it looks adorable on him. It definitely looks prep, and so we'll give him his hat just because he's bald. Once he's got the hair, we won't be doing a lot of hats anymore because I really like, you know, to show him off completely because he's got the most perfectly round head, and that's why I did hair on the on the last one, you know, because they just, they have the that perfect round head. I love it. I love it so much. So, yeah, he is the best, and... I'm just trying to cut this tape. Sorry, you guys. Um, just a really good baby. So I'm happy to have him in our nursery. And yeah, he's he's Mr. Prep. That's his, his uh, I would say that's his nickname. So it's Sebastian, but his nickname is Mr. Prep. Yes, he is definitely my preppy boy. And I hope you guys enjoy seeing him. Hope you enjoy these babies. I've got, you know, real babies and I've got um, copies and stuff like that, but I love each and every one of them. I'm grateful, grateful for all of them, grateful that they're available for people to afford and, you know, all that good stuff. Let's, I actually will turn him like this back and turn this thing a little bit. Get that blanket up there, buddy. Yeah, Mr. Handsome, Mr. Preppy. Yeah, you're just a good boy. Yes, you are. You're a very good boy. Let's put your passy up here so they can see it and we'll give you back your um what is this your sven from frozen 2 this is that uh what is it a <laughs> i don't even know what this is called a deer yeah i think it's some form of a deer um or a moose is it a moose it might be a moose yeah it's a moose i think but he he picked this one he said that one's mine and i won it and he loved the sparkle on it he just loved that so much, and he loved that it was so Christmassy because he loves Christmas. So, yeah, he liked his Sven. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the spotlight on Sebastian. I hope you enjoy are enjoying my channel, and I hope you enjoyed that questions. I hope you did that, and I hope you entered my contest. Definitely entered that contest. And Sebastian now will blow you a kiss. Mwah. He's got those nice arms that just stretch so good and uh, are so squeezy. Um, he loves, of course, God, as always, his mommy, daddy, all his aunties and uncles and grandmas and grandpas out there, and all of his cousins. And I love you, too. Mwah. But remember who loves you the most. God. Turn your heart to God. And don't be, a, be an optimistic, not a pessimistic. Be an optimistic and think about all the great things that we have. Be thankful. Today is Thankful Thursday, but we should be thankful every day. And what are you thankful for? Tell me some things down in the comment section if you could for me. Just even one thing that you're thankful for. Tell me one thing that you're thankful for. I love you guys. Everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload.